Assalamualaikum. This is video number five. Uh, I'm going to talk about micro SPE. Okay, micro SPE, whereby under this category we will have uh, membrane protected uh, micro SPE, and then we will have uh, the pipette tip SPE as well as in in syringe uh, SPE. So from the keyword itself. Imagine a, a flashback to to the time when we study about uh, SPE. Okay, we have four conditions. Remember, we have uh, conditioning of the cartridge, loading of the sample, and then we wash the contaminants, and then we elute. It's going to be the same uh, principle altogether. The only difference is that the size is smaller. The small sample is used, as well as the technique is a bit different. Why the technique is different? Because it's going to aid uh, on the uh, SP itself. Okay, rather than spending uh, twenty or thirty minutes using the vacuum manifold, we uh, researchers have been eva uh, evaluating a lot of uh, techniques so that everything can be settled within minutes. Okay, the maximum usually is ten minutes only. So how to do this? Okay, there are several methods. So if you see from the slide number 12 over here, okay, so this is membrane protected micro SPE. Find it yourself. Membrane protected means that the sorbent of the SPE, okay, uh, either your silica C18, either your uh, polymeric resin, or anything that is used in the conventional SPE is protected in a membrane. So imagine a tea bag. So a sample, so a cup of tea over here, and then we put the, you know, the the bowl or Lipton uh, tea bag, we just put inside there, so it's the same thing. So the sorbent is already protected inside the membrane. Okay. Okay, so this is in your sample. So if let's say this is a water sample, sample. Okay, so how to make sure that it is actually uh, 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 achieving equilibrium during extraction? So we put a small stir bar over here, not the SBSE stir bar of course, the normal stir bar available in the lab. It is magnetically uh, stirred with, uh, with the uh, stirrer over here. So, this membrane protected SPE will be stirred. Okay. For how long? So, that's what we are going to discuss. It's usually taking up maybe uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So that uh, all the sorbent over here will be able to absorb uh, almost all of this and the light inside the small sample okay so it is membrane protected means that it is not easily leached out this uh, the sorbent is not easily leached out is protected inside there so whenever uh, the extraction finish what should we do we take out this uh, membrane take it out leave it hanging so that the remaining sample is not there and then again uh, you proceed to wash so you can wash uh, the the contaminants, but this time the contaminants is uh, minimized as compared to the conventional conventional SPE. Why? Because the contaminants is left inside the sample. Okay, it's, it's left inside the sample because only the uh, analyte is going to be absorbed here selectively. But you still can wash it if you want. So after washing, what should we do is eluting. So you put inside another beaker. Okay, whereby you can do desorption. That's what we call as desorption lah. or illusion. Not not illusion per se because this, this is not cartridge. We call it as a desorption. Okay, desorption in what? Desorption in any organic uh, solvent that you want. Okay, so next one is going to be 